Hey everybody, Abolicious J here with today's vlog. It is currently about 2 o'clock on June 8th, 2018. It is Friday. Woohoo! Oh, wait a minute. Weekend? What's a weekend? Every day is a weekend for me now. Yay! <laughs> anyway, yeah, so it's, uh, things are going, uh, things are going alright at the moment. I, I actually recorded a, a short, a very short video this morning that will get up eventually. Uh, as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, I've been trying to record some more shorter videos with my camera so I can get some outside shots and stuff and uh, some stuff, you know, some shots of Murder Dog uh, because I've gotten a lot of requests for those. Um, I'm also going to do another video a little later, uh, hopefully at some point, to show the inside of the vehicle again. I mean, you can see a little bit from here, but. Uh, I spoke about in last night's vlog. I rearranged the vehicle yet again and got us a, uh, some more space in the back. So uh, things are slowly starting to shape, take shape around here. Anyway, uh, since I last talked to you guys, which was what last night I recorded that one. Um, yeah, I it's been uh, oh geez, hasn't even been uh, a little over 12 hours at this point. But yeah, we we settled down for the night. You know, I. I finished recording that one and managed to upload it and then went back to our favorite spot at the marina and set up there for the night and uh, actually went to sleep pretty quickly. I didn't, I didn't even watch a movie or read anything. I was pretty tired last night and by the time we got everything set up it was already after midnight. The murder dog out for one last walk. Unfortunately that bathroom I had found the night before that had been left wide open was locked so uh, yeah I guess it was a mistake. Lori if you watched this you were right said it was probably just a mistake it was left open that night yeah i guess it was they locked they remembered to lock it last night so i didn't get to use the bathroom last night like i wanted to but you know whatever we, we figured out that we figured out ways to make take care of that um but once again woke up just before six o'clock and i'm still trying to figure it out i actually it was weird i didn't actually have to pee that badly this morning um so but it, there was still wasn't enough light coming into it woken me up so i don't know maybe just being out on the road like this six o'clock is my new time no matter when i go to bed um but because we were up so early and it was uh a nice day or at least to start again um and now as i'm looking outside i'm starting to see more and more clouds it's supposed to get warmer and uh, nicer today but we'll see but because it was so so beautiful out when i got up this morning i shot uh i took a little video with the camera so i could show everybody my new waterfront property um uh you know where where i'm hanging out down at the marina and what i wake up to every, you know most mornings now well actually yeah it's probably been at least half the mornings i guess we've ended up staying down there and we'll probably be continue to do so until uh we run into some, if we run into some issues and somebody tells me to get out <laughs> until then we plan on staying there because uh, it's working out well and you know so i shot that video and like I said, hopefully I'll get that up tomorrow or Sunday or something, but so everybody can see what uh, what I see first thing in the morning when I get out of the car. And after that, Murder Dog and I uh, headed up to the, you know, drove up, up up into the park to get to the dog park so she could, uh, you know, do her morning business and get some exercise. And there was actually uh, a number of people there early in the morning. Uh, two guys I had run into a couple of mornings already. Apparently, they go there between around between like 6:30 and 7:30 in the morning. They're usually there. And another new gentleman who I had that before, a very talkative guy. Uh, he is a town employee, which I'm usually kind of not so thrilled with, but you know, nice guy. And he was very chatty and wanted to talk all about dogs. And was was psyched to be talking to somebody who actually understood dog breeds because you could tell he had had these conversations before with people. And he, like you he mentioned something about a dog and then he would immediately go into describing why this particular dog is like this. And I was able to be like, I was cutting, not like rudely, but I would start saying stuff like saying what he was planning on saying anyway. And he quickly realized that I actually knew a decent amount about dogs. So he was thrilled to talk to me for a while. So that was nice. We hung out there for about an hour this morning, just, you know, with letting ca camera was actually more active with the other dogs today. It might be because she had met a couple of them before and she's getting a little more accustomed to them. But there's this one uh, absolutely gorgeous um, harsh, uh, half brindle, half white pit bull uh, named Stella who is there. For, we've run into her a bunch of times now and uh, a couple other dogs. So that was nice. Like I said, it, was, it, was, it, it wasn't hot, but it, you know, it was warm already. And uh, I was still in my PJs, actually. And uh, we just kind of hung out there. And then uh, once we left around 7.30 or so, because it was still so early, and uh, even though it's Friday, which meant I had that one 
jobs that I had talked about, the, the one you know, former client who I had agreed to, to take care of some things for for a couple of days, uh, even though I had to do that, I technically I'd get there anywhere between like 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. Uh, you know, had a little time and it was nice out. And I said, you know what? Finally going to get to do some of that yoga today because we're not in a rush. So I actually got out to uh, to do some yoga this morning. So that was good because I talked about this going, going into this whole uh, experience. You know, in, in the first couple of vlogs I did from the from my old house, that that was going to be part of one of the routines I was going to try to get into, which actually stems from the conversation that I had a couple of months back with uh, Anthony Samaroff from the Scottish Liberty Podcast and, and the author of Procrastination Annihilation. And after reading that book and then talking to him about it and then interviewing him, so having him on the season of Liberty when we talked to him about it, I got that idea in my head that that was going to kind of help me out here because as much as, I, and I think I've mentioned this before, as much as, you know, hanging around and doing nothing and not really having much responsibility, especially when the kids and wife are out of town, um, is fun, I can get very self-destructive if I don't have some type of structure, if I don't create some structure for myself. So having a routine is a good thing. Also, you know, helps save off boredom, um, helps you not, not lose track of days if you have something you do every day or something you do on a regular basis. So you kind of still stay connected to like, you know, the, uh, the bustle of the uh, outside world, uh, even though you're trying to live in your own little world out here in the van or, or the element, as the case may be. So I, so like I said, I've been, I've been waiting to do this because of the crazy weather or, you know, and then also any day that it was actually nice out first thing in the morning, I usually have other stuff to get to right away. So I just wasn't going to have time, but finally got to do it. So after we left the dog park, we headed up towards the entrance of the park where the last bathroom is. So we could stop there and I could brush my teeth and stuff. And afterwards I set up my, my second laptop on the, on the tailgate. And I just plopped down, actually right behind my car on the sidewalk uh, with my yoga mat and did my yoga routine. And uh, it was great. You know? uh, for any, I, I think I may have talked about it before. I'm not a huge yoga guy. Uh, I did Bikram yoga, that hot yoga stuff, uh, years back. I think actually right, uh, right before I met my wife, I got into that because the girl I was dating at the time. And I actually stuck with it for like a year. And I actually really enjoyed it. I just I only stopped because it was really expensive to do around here. And I just I couldn't afford, even with the packages they offered, I just couldn't afford it. So I didn't go back. But I did realize, you know, as I'm getting older and stuff, that that type of exercise does actually help me, especially because I have neck and, uh, neck and shoulder issues. So I actually sought out uh, a couple of years ago the DDP, Diamond Dallas Page, the uh, former wrestler. <laughs> Um, he created his own, if you, if you never heard of it, he created his own yoga program, which he helped, you know, he had people help him with, but it was designed for people who have injuries. Um, you know, that was, that was the goal because he was somebody who's a wrestler for 30, 40 years, whatever, beat the hell out of his body, broken bones, broken this, whatever, um, you know, scar tissue everywhere. So he kind of designed this system to help himself out. And, you know, he ended up performing until well into his fifties because of this. And then, you know, we put it out there as a, as a product for everybody else. So I decided to test it out. I got one of the, I think I got a coupon for it years ago. And I said, like, yeah, what the hell, I'll buy it and see what's up with it. And uh, I actually kind of dug it. I just, I never get around to doing it. So I, I brought all those videos with me. So, yep, started my day, well, almost, it was the first with the dog park. But, yeah, pretty much started my day with uh, with my DDP yoga. So it was good. That was, uh, I, like I said, I've been, I've been waiting to do that. And uh, it felt good to, to actually do some exercise other than just the walking that we've been doing and stuff like that. So hopefully I can continue and I can get to a routine where I can actually start doing it on a daily basis. That would be great. Uh, or at least most of the days of the week, you know, depending on the weather. So that was good. And then after we left there, it was still pretty early. I think it was around like, eight, like nine something. And I decided, well, I might as well go take care of that, uh, take care of that work now. And on my way over, and then, that, that, you know, in my head, I was like, all right, I'll go take care of that. And then I have to go, I still got to get Planet Fitness and get that membership so I can finally get a shower. Uh, I got a message from Jim Jesus, uh, from the, you know, the host of the Lulberts. Uh, well, if you don't know him, he, he, well, I am a co-host on that show, but yeah, Jim reached out to me and said, hey, you want to record today? I need a show. So... I told him that I would try to get up with him. Uh, I also had to get Cameron back to the vet again because she still hasn't got that blood work done. So we had to get her back in. But as I was on my way to my client's house, I realized, wait a minute, I'm going to my client's house. They, they have a shower. 
oh, I can get a shower today. So yeah, I, I actually got to take a, a nice hot shower this morning. So that was really nice. Uh, I had planned on, like I said, getting that membership to Planet Fitness and finally going in there to start showering on a more regular basis. But I can put that off now for a few more days because I have to go back to that client's house again on Sunday and I will most likely make use of that shower again, uh, you know, because they're, they're cool about it. And, they, you know, as long as I don't leave a mess and I, I take everything that I bring it, you know, I leave it the way I found it. They're fine with it. So, yeah. Not only did I get to do my yoga this morning, but I got a shower almost right after it. Can't really beat that. So, we, uh, so yeah, but, uh, after the shower, that felt good. Took care of business there with the uh, with, with the cats I had to take care of, and then I headed off to find a Wi-Fi spot so I can upload my podcast that I recorded yesterday with Anthony Samaroff for my show Abolition Subtractions, which last night I actually re- I, I remembered while I was sitting there uploading last night's vlog I actually remembered to stay there long enough to upload the podcast to all the other services that we use, like Lipsyn and YouTube and stuff, but those are all out of delay. I have them scheduled for later in the day, because obviously, just like I do with these, I like to post my podcast and Steam it first as well. So I had to make sure I got the Wi-Fi to actually post the episode to Steam it. And once we were done with that, still had about an hour or you know an hour to kill to till uh, Murder Dog's appointment. So we slowly made our way over there. And... Uh, I let Jim Jesus know that, you know, I, I had to go take her to this quick appointment because uh, I met, they managed to squeeze me in and, uh, you know, it shouldn't take long. And then we would try to do a podcast. So finally got back to the vet, finally got camera and blood work. Unfortunately, they wanted me to walk out by say, you know, they were like, OK, well, the doctor will get back to you tomorrow about this. And I'm like, do you realize I'm now out of pills again? Right. Because you guys gave me three days worth on Monday told me you would call me on Wednesday. Nobody called me until 8 o'clock Thursday night, which is when you guys closed. So when I called back, you had already turned phones off. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? So, uh, you know, if you're going to adjust the medication, then, you know, are you going to give me the same old medication that's not adjusted? Like, are we actually doing anything here? But yeah, so it was kind of a, a little bit of a waste of my time, a little bit of a waste of my money as far as I'm concerned. But she did get the blood work done, so we'll find out more information tomorrow about her little thyroid issue and if she has to be on less medication or more. And they were nice enough to give me another 10 day supply uh, until this can all get sorted out. Then I'll have to go pick up more of them because as I think I've mentioned before, unfortunately with her thyroid condition, she is going to have to be on these pills for the rest of her life. So I need to make sure I have them in stock. And once we were done with that, I messaged Jim Jesus and said, Hey, I'm ready. I'll go find some Wi-Fi." And I did, and I'm actually still sitting in that same spot right now, which I still have. I'm picking up amazing Wi-Fi right here. I bet if I tried to upload this right away, which I may or I may not, because I did just post that episode a little while ago, and I may wait till a little later to post this, but I'm pretty sure if I tried to upload this right now, it would be fine. But we use Discord to do the lullbirds, and for some reason, we just had the most difficult time connect. Like, we were able to connect. Um, he was able to hear me pretty much fine but he kept dropping out to the point where i missed most of the conversation he had so i don't even know if that's going to come out as a podcast i don't know what he's going to do with that it was a it was a rather a comedy comedy of errors which is a shame because I, I love talking to jim and we usually have a lot of fun when we do shows together you know we used to do the freedom themes back in the day when he was still a fiend and then uh after i got fired <laughs> from the themes years ago and then we got rehired quickly um he actually immediately reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to be a Lulbert with the rest of us? Because the Lulberts, if you don't know, it's, a, it's another libertarian-esque podcast, but we cover a lot of topics. But the overwhelming majority of the hosts are former Freedom Fiends. Uh, I think I am cur- I'm the only one who is currently still a Freedom Fiends host. Uh, the rest of them are now all ex-Fiends, including not so young anymore, Nick Hazleton, who retired. So technically, he's not a Fiend anymore, even though I still consider him one. But he didn't get fired like the rest of us did. <laughs> but anyway, so that was a shame. Uh, we'll, we'll see if that actually comes out and what comes with it. Because like I said, I love talking to Jim. And we were set to talk about some, you know, he wanted to catch up with me and see how things were going out here. So I was going to give all the Lulbert fans an update about what I was doing with this. I mean, obviously, I just told them, fine, just point them in the direction of my, of my blog so they can follow along right there. Uh, but then we were also going to talk about the whole idea of the net taxpayer which is something that gets floated around a lot in the conversations about the borders and whatnot, and, um, in the ANCAP circles, I guess. Uh, you know, a number of my friends, including some of my co-hosts, Dave and Andre, uh, are big fans of this whole idea, and I've argued with them about them to no end. And 
uh, so when Jim said he wanted to talk about it, I was like, oh, this is a great subject for both of us to talk about because I knew both of us shared a similar, similar but you know, slightly uh, different perspective on them, views. And uh, you know, I was really looking forward to that conversation, so I was kind of bummed. Uh, but you know, these are the breaks. This is what happens when you're out on the road and you don't have a steady internet connection. Although, like I said, my internet connection seemed to be fine. I really think it was Discord, uh, which is unfortunate because I normally like using Discord. That's always been our backup. Well, ever since we switched over to Beat using Beam Phone on the C Celebrity, uh, Discord's always been our backup. And I usually like it, but I've, I've never actually had to try using it from Wi-Fi. So, eh, you live and learn, you know. Uh, you know, the podcast I put out yesterday, I'm not really thrilled about the audio on it, but... You know, again, I was working with what I had. I had to use Skype, which was acting fun, which was acting funny because it wasn't picking up my webcam at all. And then I ended up having to use, try to use one of those free Skype recorders, and it just picked up all sorts of background noise from Anthony. And you know, I did warn everybody before I got out here that I was going to do my best to continue putting out content, uh, not just these vlogs, but the normal, you know, because I normally put out at least two or three podcasts a week between the Sea Celebrity abolitionist abstractions and the freedom fiends and you know the Wolverts I usually do once every month or two but I usually put out at least three podcasts a week so I said I was going to do my best to continue putting them out there but the, the audio quality may suffer a little bit because I'm going to be in my vehicle like in situations like this I, I got the windows open and everything because if we're parked in the shade so it's cool enough that I don't have to run the AC so I'd rather not so you know the audio does have to suffer and despite the fact that I know that audio is a hate crime I'm making do with what I have because, you know, like I said, especially with things like with, with Anthony yesterday, it's not, not all that often I can line up a guy from Scotland that we're, we can get on the same time schedule, you know, get on get a schedule for both of us to work, you know, despite the uh, five and a half hour gap, I think it is, in the time zones uh, between him and him and me. So I, you know, definitely going to take advantage of that. So I'll just have to keep working at it, figure out a better system, and uh, hopefully one of these days I can actually land somewhere where I will be able to actually use an Ethernet cable and actually have a solid connection, and maybe even set up my entire uh, mini stu- you know traveling studio right now, so that I can use you know both laptops and record, you know speak on one, record on the other, and hopefully there'll be less of these issues. But other than that, that's uh, that's about all we've been up to. The, uh, you know, it's only like 2.20 right now, so we got the whole day ahead of us. You know, like I said, unfortunately, because I have that one little bit of work on Sunday, I can't go very far right now, otherwise I might just head upstate right now and uh, hang out there for a few more days, but, yeah, got to stick around, so Murder Dog and I will try to find some things to do for the rest of the day. I think we're pretty much done with our errands and stuff. I guess I could eventually make my way back up to Planet Fitness to buy that membership, but now I just may wait till next week anyway, because number one, I'm a little miffed. The, the manager who told me to come back later, you know, after midnight when the deals change, uh, I don't know what he was talking about, because the deal apparently didn't change at all, but whatever, it's still twenty one ninety nine a month, and I, I, I'm perfectly willing to pay that in order to guarantee that I have showers as often as I want them. Like I said, I got one today, and I will get another one Sunday when I go back to my client's house. After that, I'm going to have to start scrambling again. Although, by then, I'll be upstate. And I'll, hopefully, my friend Craig will let me borrow a shower. <laughs> or, at the very least, I don't have to worry about setting up my solar shower because I'm not going to have to worry about somebody coming up and sneaking up on me and, and, and uh, accusing me of uh, indecent exposure. So, either way, I'll be able to shower up there, which is great. Um, once I come back from, uh, from, from, back from upstate, then uh, I'll probably end up buying a membership. But, uh, yeah, you know. That's, that's about it. So this will actually probably be one of the shortest vlogs I do. Um, because uh, there's not much going on right now other than that. You know, like I said, I've been trying to keep busy. And the car is pretty clean right now. I'm uh, probably due to take Murder Dog out for a little bit anyway, so we should probably get on that. But, you know, like I said, I just wanted, uh, I wanted to check in. Like I said, I, I, try to check, I try to check in with these every day and... Even though a couple of people have said to me, you know, it's just be experienced and don't worry about the vlog. Well, you know, this is also part of my routine thing. As long as I do one of these a day, I feel like I've accomplished at least something. And also it helps me put that, in, you know, some information out there that I gather along the way. Helps me keep me a little sane. Helps me feel connected uh, to people. And also, especially now with uh, the wife and kids out of town, um, you know, even though uh, I got Lori looking out for me. Um, you know, I, I did say the other night, if you don't see a vlog from me, somebody should probably check in on me because something might have happened 
And uh, you know, this is this is my connection to the world for the most part. You know, obviously I can pick up a phone, but this is what I'm doing. So so yeah, I'm just gonna keep putting these out, and uh, that way you guys know I'm okay. But yeah, we're gonna go off and I guess try to enjoy what. Oh, it's looking cloudy again. I really do hate this weather. Is it the end of June yet? No, nah, not quite. Well, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, once again, I do appreciate all the support and uh, all the comments and suggestions. And keep, yep, keep them coming. And uh, yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Have a delicious day out. Peace, y'all.